Hello, Stephen Veronica Kibler here. We want to share a wonderful recipe that has been passed mm. on to me from my mom and dad, and it's called um, oxtail in green chili. And it's been uh, a wonderful recipe that my mom and dad have cooked for many years, and we absolutely love it. So we want to share it with you. Um, this is what it looks like when you buy it at the store, and. Um, Steve likes it too. Oh, I love it. It's one of the dishes that Veronica makes that uh, when I first met her family and everything and I tried it for the first time, I just couldn't get over how delicious it was. The meat just falls off the bone. If, if you love beef, this is some of the best beef you'll ever taste, especially the way Veronica cooks it. Yeah, so stay with us and we are going to be cooking oxtail in green chili today. Stay with us. Okay. So I like to rinse the meat when I, before, right before I cook it. So it's been handled by many people at the store. So always give it a good rinse just to make sure any debris that might have gotten stuck on there by accident gets off. And then I'm going to trim off um, some of the fat, just a little bit, not too much because obviously that's, you know, a lot of the flavor. And what's great about oxtail is that um, it has a lot of collagen and it, uh, obviously bone marrow, which are uh, good, good um, nutrients for the body. And um, besides that, it's a great tasting meat. So let's go ahead and trim some of that fat off and then we'll put it in the pot. Okay, so our main ingredient is the oxtail. And to that, we're gonna be cooking today um, green tomatillos to make the, the chili. It, we're gonna have some mushrooms, carrots, potatoes. Um, since I like to prepare my potatoes ahead of time, I like to put them in water so they don't turn brown. And we're gonna cook with onion, uh, serrano chilies, black pepper, onions, salt, cilantro, one cube of beef Is bouillon. that garlic? Yes, garlic. I'm sorry, did I not say garlic? You said onion. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> garlic and onion. <laughs> and then um, when we serve the dish, we will also have some avocado and then some Mexican cheese that I'll, I'll present later, um, on, later on. But for now, we're going to start by putting the uh, meat in a hot pot. Um, this is two cups of water going in right now. It's a really hot pot. Very hot. We're gonna add the meat. And I don't sear my meat um, because I want all the flavors of the other ingredients uh, to go through the meat. So I, if I sear it, then some of those flavors are not gonna be absorbed into the meat as well. So for that reason, I do not sear the meat. So in the pot it goes, and to that, I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of salt to begin with. And one teaspoon of black pepper. Actually, a quarter of a teaspoon should do it for now. We're gonna add the onion. One whole onion, because this is gonna um, cook down and the onion is gonna caramelize and give the dish a little bit of a sweet flavor And then, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and at this point, um, I'm going to have one large clove of garlic. We're going to bring this to a boil and then and cover and simmer for about an hour to an hour and a half. I'm thinking more like an hour and a half. 
the recipe will be online so we'll give you better estimates there and we'll be checking it later on to add more water uh, but for now I only like to start with a little bit of water um, so it'll come to a quick boil and it can get going quickly um, to cook a little bit faster. So you don't have the meat covered with water? It's not, just, not at this yeah. point, not completely. The other reason why I don't cover it is because sometimes if you add too much water at the beginning and you have your, your dish covered or your pot covered, it'll start to boil over. So I start with a little less water and then I'll add some more as we go along. Okay, so 20, 25 minutes after the meat started to cook, we added three more cups of water and it's been cooking for an additional 20, not 25 minutes, an additional hour after that. And so this is what it looks like now. So at this point, what I wanna do is add the carrots and the potatoes so they can kind of get a little bit of a roast flavor going as they cook in the broth of the meat and the onions the flavor of the sweet onions that are slowly caramelizing um, these vegetables will take on that flavor and then we're also gonna add one cube of beef bouillon. And I like to just kind of chop it down a little bit, just so it'll dissolve e evenly throughout the dish. Mix that in. We're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna add the mushrooms. When we add the mushrooms, it's gonna release um, a lot of liquid. So we, that's why we wanna add the carrots and the potatoes at this time to uh, allow for the broth that's in there right now to render down a little bit more. Because when we add the green chili and, and the mushrooms, it's gonna release a lot more liquid. Okay, so some of the liquid has rendered down. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms. And the mushrooms are gonna be adding that extra layer of meaty, earthy flavor to the dish they're gonna release a lot of liquid as well. So we wanna move some of those carrots and potatoes to the top. They're pretty much done. The yellow potatoes um, take a little bit longer to cook than a russet potato. Um, and this time I cut them a little bit smaller, which is why they're actually almost completely cooked. But Last time I cut them a little larger and it took them a little longer. So it just depends, you know, if you cut them small or large, it's gonna uh, need either more or less time to cook. The carrots are doing great. The meat's looking wonderful. So we wanna move those mushrooms to the bottom and at the same time, bring some of the smaller pieces of meat to the top, which are almost completely cooked now. And we're going to let the larger pieces continue to cook. We're going to cover this up. And now we're going to work on our green salsa. So I washed the tomatillos and quartered them. You want to, they come in husks. So you want to peel the husk off and you want to rinse them in cold water and get the stickiness um, off of them and then cut them and we're going to blend them. A lot of people like to cook the tomatoes or tomatillos I should say before adding them to a dish but 
since we're going to go ahead and continue to cook them in the stew, I don't need to cook them beforehand. So we're just going to blend them. This one has a little brown spot. We're going to get rid of that little brown spot. So if you find that they have brown spots, you want to get rid of those. They should not have any blemishes. And then we're also going to add um, the three serranos. They're the thinner ones. You can either do serranos or you can do jalapenos. The serranos are going to be much spicier, which we love. And we're going to add one fresh garlic, clove of garlic, and about, this is going to be about almost half a cup of fresh onion. We're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And about half a teaspoon of salt. You can always adjust it if it needs more after you taste it. And you might also need to add a little bit of water, maybe about a quarter cup of water to help it start blending. This is what it looks like. We're going to set it here and then start on chop, then move over to mix and eventually to liquefy. And we're going to also add some cilantro. So this has been washed. I trimmed off the tips at the end that were dry. This is going to give it another um, layer of citrusy, almost really fresh flavor. And that looks pretty good. So this is what you're looking your salsa to look like. And we're going to go ahead and bring the stew back up to a five. We're going to put it on full heat. And we're going to go ahead and add the green salsa. Now, I personally just love the way cilantro smells. It's got such a nice fragrance. Yes, it has a really fresh fragrance. It brightens up the dish. It, so the richness of the meat will be toned down by the zesty, fresh flavors of the salsa. The tomatillos have a tangy flavor. And as does the cilantro, and we use some fresh onion in there, that'll also turn eventually into a sweet flavor once it cooks through. This is all going to turn a little bit of a darker color, and we'll, we'll show you once this is done. But for now, it's going to be this bright green salsa color. We're going to cover it and let it simmer a little longer. Okay, let's check this out, see how we're doing. Well, we turned off the heat and it looks like the salsa has turned a little bit darker color, which is what we want to see. And it'll continue to turn a little bit darker. We usually have leftovers, so this will go in the fridge. And uh, as it cools down the next day, when you go to reheat it, you'll notice it's it's a little darker green. So let's uh, go ahead and put some of this on the plate. I'm going to serve it with some of my white buttery chicken flavor. 
rice and I have the recipe for this also up on one of my other videos. Oh, this is looking wonderful. Making my mouth water. You can see the meat is coming off the bone. So it's, you're going to get that rich flavor of beef as well as the meaty flavor of the mushrooms. And sweet flavor of those carrots. And normally I also like to serve it with avocado. Fresh avocado goes really well with this dish. And sprinkle a little bit of salt on that avocado. It wakes it up. It brightens up that flavor of that rich, delicious, sweet avocado. And then we're going to put some crumbly cheese, some of this Mexican queso, also known as uh, farmer's cheese, which is um, made with whole uh, milk. And it's very a very mild cheese. It's very creamy and mild and some tortillas on the side to soak up that delicious green chili flavor. So this is how it will look. And let's go ahead and have a taste of that beef. As you can see, it just comes off the bone. And then with the mushrooms. Mm. Absolutely delicious. So you get the zesty flavor of the tomatillo and the brightness of the cilantro come through. A little bit of the spiciness from the serranos. They've kind of mellowed out that rich beef flavor of the oxtail. And let's see, let's have some avocado. Mm. Wonderful. Creamy avocado, sweet carrots. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate a dish for Steve so he can tell you what he thinks. So, okay, looks like it's my turn now, it, huh? It's your turn yeah. to taste it. You've been waiting for this oh, for yeah, some for a time. while. Um, oh, yeah, that meat. Uh, <laughs> you might want to put it down. Yeah, I can't hold it. And, yeah, put it down so you don't lose yeah. your ingredients. All right, so I'm just going to take that, give it a little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> So the meat. Mm. It is so tender. <laughs> if you think of roast beef, the best roast beef you ever had, this oxtail, the way she made it, is like the best roast beef you'll ever have. The potatoes and the rice. Mm. There's a a sweetness about the the green chili because the tomatillo is actually part of the uh, gooseberry family. Yes, a lot of people uh, don't know, know that. A lot of people just think it's a green tomato. And it's not. It's not a green tomato. <laughs> no. It's it's a member of the gooseberry family and it has a husk around it when you actually pick it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this turned out really good, Veronica. I'm glad you like it. And the yes. mushrooms. Mm. And that, you know, that bone marrow and the meat just... I yeah, think, it's got a lot of collagen. Collagen and, and, the, and the bone marrow, mm -hmm. they say it's really good mm -hmm. nutrients for your body, so... Yeah, it's a very good protein. So, you know, if you're looking for protein to add to a dish or something like that, this is a, a very good protein. It doesn't take a lot of it. But it, the quality of the meat or its benefits you know, with the collagen, the bone marrow. I mean, it's very good, very good. 
So it's a, it's a very rich flavor of beef, um, but cooking it in the green salsa kind of mellows that out. It kind of just complements mm. the meat flavor. And then adding those mushrooms, it gives it that extra meaty, earthy flavor, which mushrooms are healthy for you as well, another vegetable in there. Um, so you, you're not just eating a lot of beef. You, you have your mm -hmm. potatoes, your carrots, your mushrooms, onions, garlic, a lot of good ingredients that are beneficial to the body. So we, we just love this dish because it's, you know, you feel like you're eating something well, very it's rich. it's definitely, I mean, it, it's, uh, but it's, you know, we call it mom's oxtail mm -hmm. uh, green chili, o or mom's oxtail in green chili. Yes. And, uh, you know, so it's something that's been passed down to you through your mother, and she probably learned it from her mother. And, yep. And, it, and, it, and it's a really good dish. Um, I enjoy it. So if you like the recipes we're sharing mm -hmm. with you, uh, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and we will yeah. continue to share some of our um, price recipes, mm -hmm. again, passed along from our family. And uh, we hope that you enjoy uh, watching us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.